everybody, I'm Jeff. I'm Alex. Welcome to As Good As It Gets and greeting from board, Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. We are back and we are in stateroom 9677. This is a standard interior room with occupancy for up to two. Two. So let's go on in. Got our Bucky's blanket or Alex's Bucky's blanket. So we're gonna go ahead and start. We're gonna go counterclockwise today. So you have two hooks once you enter the room. We have our uh, where are we little dry erase board that Alex and I have. And then you have the wash. Inside the washroom you have your standard encapsulated shower. You do have a drying string that goes across in there for Alex's swim shorts or your swim shorts. We have our Royal Caribbean all-in-one hair and body, and then we have our premium conditioner, shampoo, and body wash. And inside, our uh, room attendant is awesome and has given us four towels, bath towels, a vacuum toilet. You have a shelf underneath your sink. Now, this is not a large vanity right here. There's a size of my hand, and that's about all you have to work with inside the sink. And you do have a power outlet right here to plug in your razor or charge small appliances. Here's a full length mirror right here on this wall by the washroom. You have a lamp and you have an Alex who is upside down on the sofa. Now we absolutely love Royal Caribbean's rooms because, well, we love Royal Caribbean, but we also love that the fact that every stateroom has a small sofa or a sofa period. Uh, other cruise lines we cruise with, you have to get a junior suite to have a sofa. This is not a sofa sleeper. This is just occupancy for up to two, but it's nice to be able to kick back on a sofa in your room. Alex and I have our beds together this week. Uh, I don't know why, but anyway, those are two twin beds. You can have them separated, which we usually do, but uh, they put the nightstands in between and you do have two reading lamps on the back. Now, a really nice thing is once you're comfortable in bed, the last thing you wanna do is get up and turn off the lights that are located, uh, light switch, by the front door. There is a light switch right there. Let me go ahead and zoom in, and there it is. It's right between your heads or in between the beds when they're separate. Your house phone is located uh, against the back wall by your beds. You do have a mirror right there, so you can see against the back wall. Alex is gonna open up the beverage cooler. So on the Voyager class and up, you do have a beverage cooler in your room, which you can see uh, some beverages we have in there. It is not a refrigerator, it is just a beverage cooler. And right above the beverage cooler, we have our travel clock, but you do have an articulating TV, so that way when you're laying in bed, you can watch TV or sitting on the couch, which I'm doing right now, you can watch TV. Right above the TV is a safe. Definitely keep your passports and your wallets and your documents in there. You got a little bit of storage on the side for uh, whatever you need to. And then you have a uh, shelf right here for some storage, two shelves, uh, grab some uh, Fritos while we're in Mexico. And we've got our hats right there and our Royal Caribbean bags. Every single room on every Royal Caribbean ship, you do have a hair dryer. A hair dryer is included in your room. So folks, you do not need to bring yours with you. Just saw where the hair dryer came from. You have six drawers total, two small drawers, and then you have a center drawer to put your books or whatever you need to. And on the vanity, uh, ladies, this is where you're gonna probably use your uh, cosmetics. You do have a uh, backlit mirror right there that you can see, it goes all the way up. And you have a little shelf right there to put your uh, stuff on. Now, as far as the desk goes, I got two iPads here, uh, power supply and some papers. It's quite large and two iPads, so plenty of room to work with. And you also have storage on each side of the vanity. Just turned off the uh, backlit uh, mirror right there. There's Alex looking at the uh, full length mirror right there. Let's go ahead and talk power. You do have your uh, speaker cancel, your announcement cancel there. And you have one European type EF 220 volt outlet. And this is what the plug looks like that you would uh, plug into it. Or you can use a non-grounded uh, like our USB that plugs right in. On the right side, you have your switch for your backlit mirror and you have two North American Edison 120 volt outlets. Okay, here's your uh, thermostat that does practically nothing in the room. Right above, you do have just a little bit of storage if you wanna put like some paper or whatever in there. We use uh, our towel clips, just put them up there and yeah, so we can take them with us to the pool. Alex just opened up the doors to 
the closet. Let's go ahead and talk about the right closet. Above the closet is where you have your uh, life vests right there. Uh, if you wanna move them down to the floor of the closet, uh, you'll have about that much storage. Uh, right above, there's some Bucky's t-shirts, our sweatshirt for Alex, and you do have six shelves uh, that you can put your uh, clothes on, just pull them nicely, and you got plenty of space. It's just Matt, Alex, and me in this room, so we got our uh, shirts hanging up there, and our dirty clothes bag, and a couple backpacks down below. Alex is lifting up the uh, bed skirt to show you our suitcase. It fits very, very nicely underneath, so that's where you can put your luggage storage and some other bag, uh, whatever storage you need to underneath the bed. Located on deck nine, very, very aft. Uh, you can see the crew elevators right here, but this is the uh, aft elevators for guests and the forward elevators up here. It's not a bad location. Uh, you would think you feel uh, a vibration of the props or some swaying. It has not been that bad, and we've been on for five days so far. Uh, so great location in the room, nice and quiet. The aft hallway is back here. There's a suite uh, right back there, a little triangle looking room. And we have about uh, two rooms uh, behind us. Just for reference, the uh, Diamond Club, or what used to be Diamond Club Crown Lounge, is five forward. The Royal Promenade is five center ship. Right here, main dining room is five, four, and three. And Adventure Ocean is 12 aft. All right, thanks for hanging out with us as we take you through stateroom. 9677. On the? Navigator's seat. Recommend this room if you uh, desire an interior room with occupancy for one or two guests. Not too bad, just a little walk to the uh, aft elevators, but eh, it's a Voyager class ship, so it's not very large. This is Royal Caribbean's mid-sized ship. If you haven't already, we invite you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram at iceberg.ak. We've been on the Navigator at least a dozen times earlier this year. Alex and I spent over a month <laughs> and a half doing consecutive cruises on this ship. We love this ship. The route is fantastic, even though it's the same thing over and over and over, but we still love it. We would not turn down this room or be disappointed if we got it again. If you've been on Navigator of the Seas, leave your comment down below. If you have any questions about the ship or the room, leave your comment down below. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao for now from the Navigator in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. See you later, bye. Peace.